One Texas city is trading public buses for ride sharing. Arlington introduced commuter buses in 2013, but now the city has abandoned them, replacing them with a new partnership with the ride sharing company Via. Vans pick up passengers on demand for a $3 ride. Arlington is the first U.S. city to experiment with this kind of venture. Chris Van Cleve went to Arlington to show us the cost-saving innovation. Good morning. This is where you used to wait for a bus in Arlington, Texas, but you'd be waiting a long time. Now, as the sign says, the city dropped its bus service, going for more of a virtual bus stop that you summon with an app. And here is what the new city buses look like. It's actually a ride share. Arlington, Texas wants to know if this could be the answer to mass transit in the Uber age. The city partnered with app-based ride-sharing service VIA to operate 10 vans to shuttle residents, replacing the city's four-year-old commuter bus service. The commuter bus didn't apply to me at all because it didn't take me where I needed to go. Since January, Bill O'Toole's left his car at home and commuted with VIA, summoning the van from his phone for a flat fee of $3 a ride or a weekly pass for 10 bucks. The fees are partially subsidized by the city. Stress at work has been alleviated and it's probably just the fact that I'm not starting stressed. You really hate driving. I really hate driving. Getting around Arlington without a car is not easy. It's a sprawling community of 99 square miles and sits 12 miles from Fort Worth and 20 from Dallas. But Arlington residents have repeatedly voted against spending money to build a mass transit system. When the bus line was scrapped, ridership had fallen to as little as 100 people a day on its single route through downtown. Do you see buses and rail as Passe is outdated technology? Absolutely. I, I think that with the new technology that's coming on, you're going to see very little light rail built because this is so much cheaper. Arlington Mayor Jeff Williams. It's a pilot program. You know, if it didn't work, well, we can go on to something else. And it's a fraction of spending $50 million a mile for light rail. Arlington residents are taking to the virtual buses. In its first month, VIA provided more than 5,000 rides at a 97% customer approval rating. Thank you so much. Alex Lavoie from VIA. Uh, we're going to pick you up within a block or two of where you want to get picked up. We're not going to pick you up uh, at a few fixed pickup locations within the city. It's quite a convenient solution. Um, and we think um, for that reason, uh, people will really enjoy it. And so far, they really have been. The city is planning on expanding the program to cover 120,000 of its residents by this summer. And if they're filling up the VIA vans, they look to go citywide in the next couple of years. For CBS This Morning, Chris Van Cleve, Arlington, Texas. It's working there. Thank you, Chris, very much.